Hello everyone, my name is Pradeep Tokander. Today I am going to solve uh, problem number 8, 2 subsequence from code forces around 751 division 2. This is quite a simple problem. So first we will go through the question. After that we, I will tell the approach and after that we can take a look on the code. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, so it is given you are you are you have a string S and you have to find two non-empty substrings A and B such that the following conditions are satisfied. So first of all the string a and b should be uh, both subsequences of s which is quite common it's nothing nothing to explain here then after that for each index i the character si of string s must belong to exactly one of the strings a or b so what basically it is saying that a and b should be mutually exclusive and they are they should be exhaustive what does that mean it it means that like if 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 a character like d is present in the whole string s exactly one so the total number of times uh, d should be present in substring a and substring b should be equal to one uh, for instance if uh, if d is present twice then total number of times d should present in stub substring a and substring b should be equal to two okay uh, so this is what the point 2 is saying after that it is said that the string a should be lexicographically minimum possible so what does that this lexicographically minimum means it means that if 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 a and b are are present in a dictionary then a comes before b like uh, if abc comes before abd okay so then then I'm saying the approach. The approach is quite easy. Uh, so what basically we will do here is uh, let's take an example here, the bright boiler. So what basically we will do is first we will find the minimum possible character, the lexicographically minimum character, and we will extract it out, and the rest of the string will be the substring B, and the minimum minimum possible character will be the substring a because it is said the lexicographically minimum possible should be substring a okay it is possible that uh, the string a only contains one character so it is it is possible okay and so let us look at the code so the code is also very simple and uh, then first i have taking the number of test cases input then for each test case i am taking the string input then i have uh, used main to store the minimum character and initially i have initialized with uh, the first character of the string after that i am keeping track of the index the in index of the minimum uh, character and, after, and then after that i am iterating through the whole whole uh, string i am storing the minimum in the min variable minimum character in the min variable and index and, and keeping track of the index of the minimum uh, minimum character sorry not variable minimum character okay then i am creating a new string b uh, this is a string b with which we will be printing and the string a will be just our minimum so i we have used if else that there's a special case like if the index of i if, if 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 the index i is uh, at the last so it is the last element so we will just uh, store the new b will just have the substring uh, zero and index so the substring takes the first index and the total length of the sub uh, the substring okay so like if it is so if like it is uh, like five five string long so we will just input the first first index and after that uh, five characters okay and the six six character will will be our substring a and if, if it is not then simply uh, our substring will be from zero to index and after that from index plus one to end okay and then i am simply printing out the min which which is our substring a and then after that i am printing out the uh, our substring b okay thank you